Hi, when you're in the business I'm in, you tend to accumulate multimeters. Um, and I actually have a box of multimeters here in the lab. Um, it's just a box of random multimeters. And I was looking for my BM869 the other day, and uh, th that's where I had to go to actually find it, because I did a uh, video on that, <laughs> because there's only so many meters I can keep on the bench. And generally, of course, I use the EEV blog um, meters around the lab. So I thought I'd just empty this box, I'm going to go through, uh, like, from top to bottom, every box, every multimeter in this box. By the way, this is not my only box of multimeters. This is just the one in the lab, which I believe is left over from when I moved uh, from the bigger lab that got uh, flooded, <laughs> when I moved out of the 100 square meter lab back into the original EV block lab here. Um, yeah, all the meters just got put in a box like this, and they've stayed that way ever uh, since. So anyway, let's take these meters out and see what we've got here. Um, I'm not going to edit this video, so let's go. Yeah, I, as I said, I've got two, I believe, two other boxes of multimeters uh, in the bunker. So this one's the one that's just in the lab. So if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and I'll um, go down to the bunker and I'll shoot what's in the other ones. Let's go. We have a box. It's a um, uh, uh, Agilent, uh, none of that Keysight rubbish, a U1273A. That's the OLED uh, jobby. But there's nothing inside of it except a, um, a 1272A. So I don't know what's going on there. Um, uh, by the way, I'm going to, uh, I'll, I'll, tr I'll try these. See if that, hopefully, I like, I better check that they've actually got all batteries in them. But I won't do that now. So... Anyway, I'm just going to have to whack them all on the floor. This is going to get ugly. I've got a UT61E+. Uh, UT um, I've done a video on that, and it's, you know, it's still a reasonable choice for whatever, 40 bucks, 50 bucks, or whatever it is. Um, so there you go. There's the UNI-T. Ah, uh, uh, Kai Wheats. <clears throat> this could be one of many. Um, oh, oh, it's the clamp. Clamp meter. So, yeah, this would be all, like, this will contain, this box will contain lots of mailbag stuff. So, let's go, and what do we got? A GV, uh, GVDA, GD128, uh, complete with manual and the pouch. Yeah, that was another mailbag jobby. So, let's go. I've got a pouch, a PDI. Um, is that the, that's the brand? Uh, yeah, PDI. Um, once again, another mailbag uh, item. So, yeah, that's just a... Um, rebadged um, chem, isn't it? I think that's a chem manufactured one. So, which do, um, it looks similar to X-Tech and stuff. Aha, look at that. <laughs> you might recognize that. The UEI DM397 True RMS Multimeter. The one with the big clunk and power switch. This one, uh, didn't it win my $100 shootout or something like that? Like, like 12 years ago or something like that. So, yep, still got that. Uh, let's have a look. What do we got here? No namer. Um, I, I can't remember half these. Ah, oh, bloody Kawits again. Um, HT double one eight A. Yeah. All right. Still new in box. Um, oh, oh yeah. That was a um, a, a, a do it yourself um, uh, item sent into the mailbag. Uh, sorry, I can't remember who actually did that, but uh, yeah, it has various functionality. Not really a multimeter as such, but anyway. Ah, uh, Kawits again. Doesn't sound, doesn't feel like there's anything in there. No, it's empty. All right, we've got some probes. Um, that, a BM235 available on the EV blog store, of course. Um, that, that's, yep, 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 still got batteries. I'm gonna keep that around the lab. Okay, no worries. Uh, what else? Another one, here we go. No, oh, empty, okay. Th those pouches are useful though. <laughs> <laughs> Multi oh, Kawits again, ST600Y. They just keep sending their stuff in. It's unbelievable. Um, hands up if you're sick of their stuff. <laughs> what is this? A Just a random pouch. Let's go. Um, oh, a Zoi. Yeah, that's the digital oscilloscope thing. That actually wasn't... Was that the one that wasn't too bad? I, I did a video on one of them, and it actually wasn't, wasn't that bad at all. Um, well, you, you know, for the price kind of thing. Sort of like has its market. Um, oh, that's a Bobby Dazzler. The Keysight U1282A. Look at that. Um, that uses the HY3131 chipset. Um, same as what's used in the 121GW. Uh, so, um, yeah, that was... Uh, I think 
similar sort of that we were kind of using that as a comparison uh, for performance with the 121 GW at the time during uh, development. So what right, does that? Right, no, yep, yep, still work. Oh, yeah, no, still got, still got batteries, no wackers. So that's a pretty decent meter. And the original Unity UT61E, the fanboys go wild. And we're still going. Fluke 17B, the 17B of fanboys, they go wild. Is that? Oh, yep, 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 no wackers. That's you know, a 17B is an excellent meter really excellent uh, meter it's well worth uh, you know well worth your money definitely uh that's just a random uh bm235 in fact uh, yeah um the fuse is missing back covers missing fuses yep um i might that might be a faulty one or something um somebody actually had a failed lcd in one of these um so they wanted like a replacement one so i said i'd have a i'll try and find a replacement so that one i'll keep aside might be able to send it to them. Um, a BM2, <laughs> an original BM230. That'd be, I oh, know. No, that's an original, that's a bluey. Look at that. That's an EV blog one in the original. Back when I had them, in the, when I first started, I didn't have the custom no bullshit uh, packaging box. And it came in the, I originally shipped these. Can't remember how many, probably not that many. But I originally shipped them in the, in the box. So yeah, that'd be, uh, that would, yeah, that's, there you go. Brand spanking new in box. Um, <laughs> all right. Uh, oh, look at that. The Sanwa PM300. A few people have asked if I'm ever going to restock this because I used to resell this on the store, um, on, on my store. And it won, it basically was the best pocket meter in my um, shootout, that pocket multimeter shootout I did. And um, it's absolutely fantastic pocket meter. And it's one of the ones that I uh, still use. I've got a couple of them lying around. Um, and uh, the answer is no, I'm probably not going to get it back because the price on these, the FOB, uh, uh, free on board uh, cost, basically the wholesale uh, price of this thing, was nuts. Like I could almost buy it cheaper retail, so there wasn't any margin on it. So I sold, I ended up selling all of mine um, practically at cost, I think, just to, just to sell them out. So the answer is uh, no, no, I'm not going to get those back in, um, uh, back in stock. Sorry. For the fanboys, Fluke 70, you might remember that one. I redid, I did a video on that and <laughs> the backlight I replaced with um, <laughs> a, uh, the owl foil. <laughs> Not that aluminum foil rubbish, owl foil. Thank you very much. So, yeah, classic Fluke 70 Series 2. Uh, I don't think it works, doesn't it? I, I can't remember the video. Another nondescript pouch. Bloody Kawits again, HT whatever who cares yeah okay uh oh there we go a fluke 23 that was um uh, one of the did that i transported the uh, that's the one i swapped the lcd so i got this one working instead of the other one yeah i think the other one's missing the lcd and this is um i got this one working so uh that probably does work just doesn't have a battery aha oh no no it's another u1272 Hey, so where's that mysterious 1273 OLED model? Um, oh, hang on. <laughs> hang on, it's right down the bottom. We, we're getting there, we're getting there. Getting towards the bottom. There it is. There it is. U1273AX. True, uh, that's the OLED um, jobby. I think if I've got a recollection. It's got a big scratch down it there. Um, I've got a big recollection that uh, that this actually failed out of the box. Like, or I had it in the, it used to work and then it, I took it out of the box another time and it failed. So I, I'm not sure, I'm gonna have to investigate that one. So, all right, next, next. Oh, Bobby Dazzler, look at that. Fluke 27, doesn't, I've taken the batteries. Oh no, no, look at that, it just takes a while to get going. Oh, beautiful, man, thing of beauty. Look at the thick as. Oh, it's a thick boy. Look at that, unbelievable. Those who want to see the size comparison with the already humongous BM869, it's, it's too big. I find the BM869 is just too big for your average um, bench use. I just, you know, <laughs> I, I don't like using it at all on the bench. It's just too massive. Um, so Fluke 27, um, fantastic. 
It's a Bobby Dazzler. I might keep that on the bench, actually. By the way, if you want to see the difference in size between the BM235, I posted a photo of this and on the uh, forum, you know, the difference in size is just ridiculous. Anyway, um, all right, next. Oh, hello. Hello. Metrohit Ultra. Metrohit Ultra. That is... Blue oh, look, it's still got, still got the protective cover on it. I've, I've clearly put that back on. Um, the Bluetooth Ultra, that is a superb multimeter. I'm going to get that one back up and running. Um, I used to use that. So, ah, bloody, what have we got here? Uh, a GVDA thing again. Uh, with leads. And, aha! Uh -huh. What? Well, hang on. No. I just put that back. <laughs> Sorry. Um, all right, the greener. Oh, oh. Hello. Yeah, one of those little crap pocket things. Oh, that's. I hate that form factor. It's terrible. I used to think it was okay when I was a kid. You know, you see it in the photo and the ads and stuff. And eh, yeah, nah. Um, there's another. Oh bloody hell! Oh god! Oh, ugh, ugh, ugh! My skin crawls. Um. No, and getting there, only got a couple more left. A Tektronix DMM916. A lot of people don't know Tektronix used to make multimeters. This is Australian Defence Force uh, model, and I got a whole bunch of these at auction, and I went through and a good lot of them work, or I got them working. Um, actually uh, cleaned them all up, and I sold them. Um, so, yeah, I've got a couple left. So these are probably, the ones I've got left are probably the non-working ones, but um, they were a decent meter. Tektronix, actually made a decent meter. Don't know how long they lasted. If you know, leave it in the comments. There's another one. There you go. But uh, yeah, I don't think any of, any of those uh, work. So yeah, it's not worth spending my time doing a repair video, really. And then we've got a... That's before the no bullshit <laughs> packaging um, thing. So there's another BM235. Uh, new in box. There you go. So I might have to put that check that out and last last oh no second sorry second last i'll leave it hang on hang on there we go oh. and a bright naked Bryman without the uh case and that's the um uh, 839 they sent this to me saying hey do you want to stock this and it, it didn't seem to just fit in it was kind of like an oddball um, in terms of features and um, stuff like that. So, yeah, it's it's probably okay. I don't know, leave it out. Like, you know, all, all Bryman meters are great, but it just didn't fit in with the... Ooh, look at that. Just didn't fit in. <laughs> look, it's got eyes. Hello. Um, yeah, it just sort of, like, didn't fit in as well, and the 786 was... Uh, which were, they were developing at the time uh, was vastly superior. And lucky last... Oh, one of my favourites. One of my childhood... <laughs> ones I lusted after. I've done a video on this. The Fluke 37. Get this out of the road. Um, Fluke 37. Look at that Bobby Dazzler. Ah, oh, so I'll leave you with that hero shot. There you go. Beautiful. Does it still have... Do I keep a battery in there? No, I didn't. Um, this one has like a thousand hours plus battery life. In, um, absolutely fantastic. I just love the form factor and the slopey and everything else. I lusted after one of these when I was a kid. When I saw the uh, ad for this, oh, it's a Bobby Dazzler. Do I have any probes? No, I don't think I have any probes in there, and I think the um, probe case is a bit delicate, so I won't open that. Um, but, yeah, oh, thing of beauty. It's a joy forever. Anyway, if you like that video, give it a big thumbs up. If you want me to go down to the bunker and do another one of these videos, emptying out another two, I think I've got two boxes. One of them's, I think, just like old uh, prototype 121s and just scrapped um, the Bryman meters and stuff like that. Um, so anyway, <laughs> yeah, there you go. Let us know if you've got a box of multimeters, but in my business, eh, it's a thing. Catch you next time.